Okay, now we're talking. Pokemon Stadium. Another PlayStation 2 game. NBA courtside. Who's in USA? Super Smash Brothers. Jeremy McGrath Supercross 2000. Star Wars Shadow of the Empire. I'll add it here. So, jewelry. Now we're talking. Kinds of stuff in here. Hematron stamp. I need that stamp. No marking on that one. No marking on that one. That's pretty nice. and Gabbana, stainless steel, the necklace, so we'll definitely go through all of this and see, you know, we'll test it all out, make sure and see if it's actual gold or what the case, it looks like there's another drawer, so, looks like more random knickknack, might be some silver in here. Pretty neat. We'll look through it. Here's a dime for our five gallon jug. There's all kinds of different jewelry. Don't know what's real, what's not real. We're gonna have to go through it all. Some stuff's heavy, some stuff's not. nice little watch so I'll get it all tested but quite a few stuff in here I'm sure some of these things are going to be real gold and some of them are going to just be custom jewelry found in there is this little thing it looks to be in really bad shape but in the back of it it says you can see it 14k so we found gold here a whole bunch of little crosses all throughout it and i think that one there is gold that one is silver and i don't know about the rest but we'll definitely get those to the side that's kind of neat is that salt and pepper shakers maybe Some kind of cookie jar, Disney and paper. Oh, Wizard of Oz cups. So maybe it was Wizard of Oz, not Disney. But that's kind of nice. Okay. Got shoes. Converse. They're actually pretty good condition. Wow, those are nice. Pretty good condition too. Here's the other one. We got some DC. So, a few good shoes. 
few nuts of the shoes. This one's pretty neat. And black Converse. These are actually in really good condition. So that's heavy. And we got games. Oh yeah. PlayStation 2. PlayStation GameCube. Harvest Moon. So this box right here should bring a pretty penny. We Mega Man 3DS games. They are in there, so 3DS. And we found that 3DS unit, that other unit, so might be able to do some kind of bundle or something. But quite a few games in here. GameCube. Donna Mana, Super Mario, Sonic, Jack 2, Crash, Dax and Dexter. So some good games in here. There's some more games down here. And then some kind of like picture frames, picture books. So found is the 23 Psalm. Not entirely sure what it is, but it is from the Franklin Mint and basically in here there are little plaque things so that's pretty neat and then in the back a little plaque like a little pin metal. This one here is for Asiatic Pacific Campaign. And then in the back, 1945. Alright, so the next one we have basically is for European African Middle Eastern Campaign. And the date in the back of it is also 41 to 45. So, again, not really sure what they're worth. Um, if you look, that's what it says on the actual pot packages themselves. It comes from the U.S. Mint. And this one here is for an American campaign. And... The year on this one is 1941 to 1945 also. So, just some pretty cool little nostalgic things from back in the day. Um, let's see what else we got. So, in here, it has that inside of it. So, when I look at the back of it, I believe it's gold. Um, it has... Uh, got some kind of gun. Looks like a play gun. Uh -huh. I don't know about this one. This one feels like it's real. He asked me if I wanted it, so I said I'd take it. We'll see what it is later. In the unit, we also found that. saw these and this so let's go take a look at them This one here, a little heavier. Don't see a date, but 
but we can definitely get it estimated. And then this one. It's pretty neat. I noticed it over there. Looks like an old side-off shotgun of some sort. I have to get that checked, but some more fishing doors. These look like the wooden. Together, it is hot as hell out here. Some kind of a Star Trek timepiece. It's pretty neat. Enterprise with a little pouch and everything. Some kind of a piece of art. Let's go out in the sun so you can actually see it. Pretty neat. Signed by Robert Wood. Whoever that is. Assassin's Creed. So it looks like Here, get some light. First things first, drawer. Looks like it's empty. Empty. And empty. Empty. Creamer. Wow, that's beautiful. Where the jewelry is. And then there's that. Mattel 1966. It's pretty neat. It's got the top. Here. Look at that. Hello Kitty. Room's Choice. Whistler's Mother. It's pretty neat. We got a Wii. A black Wii. That's what I'm talking about. Another faucet. Moan. So we'll definitely look those up and see more or less what we're looking at. This one here. Looks like another faucet. These types of things are pretty good because they tend to sell fairly easily. People are always renovating their house or 
fixing stuff like that. So, you know, we'll see what we can get for them, but it should bring at least a decent return. So this one here looks like another faucet. This one maybe for the bathroom. And then this one. Yet another one. So, not a bad find. I mean, they're name brand. I'm sure they're probably 20, 30 bucks each. So, let's say at 20 bucks, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 120 ones. I'm not going to take them out, but basically, what it is, and what I'll do is I'll put a picture on the actual screen so you can see what it is and how much it is. And there's basically two of them. There's also a Wyndham bowl. So that particular one, it's also sterling. So again, I'll put it on the screen. And then this one here is a... And again, I will put it on the screen and show you the estimated value. Big Budweiser. A little dirty, but uh, I'll get that clean. Some kind of uh, oh, it's got some pennies in it. Avon products, and it's got the cups to go with it. That out the way. Ourselves a pallet jack. Pallet jacks sell for about 200 250 Nike knee strap some clothing and it looks like Super Nintendo oh yeah and it looks like there's some games too so we got Super Mario World in here we also have shattered iPhone and Looks like a Nintendo DS, so it's pretty neat. Got some controllers, so definitely look that more likely to do. But this is basically the surfboard. Seems to be in pretty good condition. Here's the uh, information about it. Looks like airsoft gun, BB gun. And then there's another one. A couple more. Pretty nice. And then there's some Xbox games. Ghost Recon Breakpoint it is in there. So we have Minecraft is in there. Dying Light is in there. We have Terraria, Call of Duty, and Call of Duty. So, this little box should fetch a little bit of money. So, like always, we will uh, research it. We will uh, figure out more or less what to look at. Looks like a Nike box and some kind of tool on top of it. So, the box says that stuff. That stuff, that's shit. So, let's go through that shit. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Bunch of Oakleys, frames. Some additional frames for them. Come on. 
pretty nice. Oakley's. Should get a few bucks for that. That shit looks like it's gonna pay off, yo. And then there's two more here. One is country, like, um, and then different pairs. So I'll get those open in a minute, but I wanna see what else is in here. So, got some stuff there. Cables, chargers, things along those lines. Zippo lighters, some magazines, nine millimeter, can see a uh, carry. So, a couple little things in here. Um, looks like a another one. So, couple little things I mean glasses should be uh, best part of this box I'll definitely take a look and see um, list those like on eBay or something now these I'm not entirely sure what they are they don't look like they're Oakley so I figured I'd take them out real quick I don't think they're Oakley not entirely sure what they are, but there you go. So, bring it around. Looks like a uh, light year kids thing full of more, more Hot Wheels, dude. I think we're gonna end up calling this the Hot Wheel unit. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Some really nice ones in here I mean look at that so I'm gonna put that like another little box of stuff here so let's get this opened up and see what's in it and more little cars wow that is beautiful a boat car That is awesome. So, definitely a lot of Hot Wheels in this unit. So you guys can take a look at it. So stainless steel. So just a decorative piece, just something to hang on the wall or something. Okay. Pretty cool. Let's see what's in it. All right, first thing out the box. World Class Athletes Classics. Some kind of collectible. All right, next thing out the box. Classics. Not entirely sure what that is. Next. Classics Baseball Major League. Again, not sure what that is. And here. Can't get that glare to go away. But basically, looks like a collectible card, football card. And, uh, looks like a Nolan Ryan. Next, next we've got this. Looks like a whole bunch of cards. Let's get a couple out and see what they top prospects. Dave Justice. Dave Justice, Dave Justice. So it looks like a whole bunch of different cards for different players. Definitely go through each and every one. See if we have anything that's notable or you know if they're all just regular cards everything that i looked everything basically told me that 
it would be different type of stuff. And there's literally all kinds of baseball collectibles in here. So again, more cards. Too many to look through here. There's a box literally full of cards. Jerry Rice Royster. Looks like it's autographed. There's literally cards everywhere. Down in here, we got a PlayStation 2. Memories Bay. So Two new tapes. That'll definitely sell. It says Polo Ralph Lauren. So let's see what's in it. Oh, very nice. Dreamcast. Now we're talking. NBA Live 2000. Flashpad 3.0. Halo 3. Xbox 360. MVP Baseball, 2004. Guitar Hero, Aerosmith. What's in there? What else we got? Mario Kart 64. Madden 10. PlayStation controller. Donkey Kong 64. NCA 07. I know 14 sells for crazy amounts. Let's see what 7 sells for. A bunch of hats, University of Miami Hurricanes, Boston Red Sox, Los Angeles Clippers. Not a bad box overall. Best part, I think, is the uh, Dreamcast. We'll get it tested out. And Basically, I was looking at when I bid on this unit, I figured that the outside table and chairs. Um, would be pretty neat if you look at them right here. Got them set up. I think they look pretty nice. I think just in that alone, the unit was worth it. Let's see what that comes up for. Nintendo 64. It looks like there's another one down here. Looks like a Madden 2000, maybe? I don't know. Plug is pretty nice. Jet Force Gemini. Point out. So, a couple of Beanie Babies. 
of the lamb one and the tag itself says tie 2000 so we'll definitely look to see what that's worth and then there's this one it says tie beanie original baby so we'll see what that one's worth and this whole entire bag is literally full of beanie babies like look at this one original so we'll go through it's cleaned up this one here still has the tags $149 so the thing with this Keurig is that I could basically get about $60 if I sell it whole that's basically just as it is open box because it is new but it doesn't have a box and basically I'm gonna get about 50 60 bucks for it if I take it apart and I sell the individual parts for it then I'm gonna get basically about 120 to 150 so it makes more sense to take it apart and to sell it as individual pieces and so I'm going to assume based on the comps that I'm seeing that we're looking at about hundred and fifty dollars for the Keurig that right there might pay for the unit Through this pail just to start putting stuff up basically found bullets number 23 so that's pretty neat I might keep that for myself see what size it is 2x it'll fit me all right 